When I was little, probably five or six, I got to go on a special date with one of my heroes, Misty Edwards. I have known her my entire life. She was my favorite worship leader. I got so excited every time I walked into the prayer room or church and she was leading worship. She was faithful in the prayer room and had tremendous skill in worship leading. Every little girl loved her. My dad took me to the 8 to 10 p.m. set one night, a rarity since that was way past my bedtime. As the 8 p.m. set was wrapping up and the 10 p.m. set was starting, Misty walked onto the stage. I begged my dad to let us stay and hear Misty's set. Considering 10 p.m. was already too late for a child who was seven, he took me home. One time, Misty took me out on a special date to the mall. I don't remember much, but she took me to the Disney store and bought me a princess umbrella. It was pretty special for me. I remember wanting to go to the Build-A-Bear store, but she said she couldn't walk so far. She had recently undergone surgery to remove cancer from her leg that left her with a pretty severe limp. When she was diagnosed with cancer I remember asking my dad if she was going to die. He reassured me she was going to be fine. But I remember the real feeling of concern I felt at one of my heroes being very sick. I remember dancing in the kitchen with my sister to songs like Baptize My Heart and People Get Ready. Most kids danced around to Peppa Pig and Bluey. But not me. I liked Misty. And I wasn't the only one. Everyone admired her. She was the example of giving your life to Jesus and being a Mary at his feet. As I got older I grew in appreciation for her music. Her biblical depth was obvious to anyone paying attention. Her songs felt like they were reading my soul. I've probably listened to her song Garden 10,000 times. Not kidding. It became a comforting song to me which is ironic considering the musical genre is pretty much Christian hard rock. Misty was always nice to my siblings and me.